Life is short, so let's not waste time doing this. In this video, we're going to learn how to patch efficiently. On this channel, we make a lot of musical sequencers like this. And right here, we have a select object and a bunch of buttons. Every time we make a sequencer, it's very tedious connecting a patch core like this, right? It's not too bad if you're making an 8th note sequencer, but it gets way more tedious if it's a 16th note sequencer. And god forbid, it's extremely tedious to do a 32nd note sequencer. But what if I told you that we can do this in an instant? To connect the patch cord, we typically click, hold, drag, and let go, right? Now check this out. Highlight both the select object and the buttons. Then click, hold, drag, and while still holding down, type the shift key with the other hand. And look at that, magic. And we can use this trick in other ways. Let's connect one single outlet to multiple objects. So highlight these objects and do what we did earlier. So again, click hold, drag, and while still holding down, type the shift key with the other hand. Awesome. Let's do another approach of connecting a single outlet to multiple objects. Sometimes the objects that we want to connect are all over the patcher, and it's very tedious if we try to highlight every single one of them. In that case, don't highlight anything and use that trick we learned. Let's connect here and look at that. It creates a new patch cord and it's already connected to the outlet. How convenient. We can of course instantly connect multiple outlets to a single inlet. So highlight these and do that trick. Amazing. So, for each pure data patching session that we do, Using this trick will save us some time. And if we patch every single day, each month we could be saving up to 5 minutes or even 10 minutes. And you can spend that time to touch grass, check up on your friend, call your mom, cook a special dinner, watch your favorite YouTuber, exercise, and do all kinds of cool stuff. So let's stop doing this and start doing this. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.